pack. The game is finally out and it is absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and hop right in. I'll give you guys my impressions and my thoughts on like the first hour-ish of the game. We'll watch all the cutscenes, but we might not go over every single text dialogue um, so, in what the game. So, trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The arrogation of mankind ends now. Right, so we're at the uh, screen where we get to go ahead and select a twin. I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, female over here. So I actually, I, I did originally play this game on console, but this is my first PC impressions over here. The game is really awesome, by the way, and it is just as a heads up free to play. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this one over here as the other one was taken. Oh, we can hit confirm with circle. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it just, this is, okay. I thought it was registering my controller over here as it was vibrating when the thing was going off. Um, as I wanted to play this game with a controller. Either. Just like that. And the god, just like oh. that, the god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. All right, but anyways, the game is like a action RPG. You got How multiple many years characters. Ago was it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. All right, so anyways, going back to what I was saying, I don't know if I can use controller. Maybe I have to go into options to go ahead and uh, set that up. So I'm gonna go into settings to see if you can play with a controller. Uh, we can, okay. So I'm gonna play with the controller uh, and are we good? Okay, perfect. And this game feels so much smoother on, on PC over here. We'll see what we can select for options uh, under the games uh, settings. Can we go under... Oh, it closes it. Do I have to hit down? Sort of, oh, okay, you have to hit that. B is accept in this game. Okay, so it's more like a uh, an Eastern game here. But uh, anyways, the first thing I want to go ahead and actually check out is the uh, FPS over here. Oh, so 60 is as high as it goes. On console, we couldn't uh, actually select any of that kind of stuff. But I want to also turn off uh, motion blur over here. I like how it's open or close. And uh, we'll go ahead and just keep everything else on high and we'll be ready. And if you guys do want to go ahead and make it in uh, Japanese, you're also able to go ahead and do that for anyone that is interested in doing that. But um, anyways, so yeah, it's a, like an open action uh, RPG, open world, and you have multiple characters, which makes this game super, super entertaining. Um, however, I do want to mention that there is a system in the game to unlock characters. Some of them will be RNG based, as in characters are potentially locked by loot boxes. And the reason why I say potentially is because you can technically unlock a lot of the characters in the game by just playing the game, but you'll also get some potential RNG mechanic, um, as there is currency that you'll acquire uh, as you play the game. It does also happen to have a waypoint system, but yeah, this game is good. 
Um, if you guys are wondering, you know, uh, should I download this? What's the file size? As far as the file size, it's about 10 gigs because after like a few different updates, it could be a little bit bigger. But you can climb up, we'll end up getting a glider. stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. But in terms of itemization in the game too, there are like Which set items like in Diablo, for, like exactly. where you get multiple parts and you'll get like a, a set bonus. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do basically the tutorial go and also grab the crafting materials. over the world among the seven gods this god controls the wind Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first and there's a reason why so prologue act one okay as we all know poetry and language flow like the wind There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. <laughs> you can swim right over. So this game does have swimming, but uh, you can't do it forever. You have a, a stamina bar. do is just touch the statue and you got the power of animal as much as they may want it people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you uh-huh it's because you're not from this world to begin with so you do have some decisions i don't know if it affects like the outcome of the story but i hope it does if we keep heading west from here we'll eventually reach monstadt the city of freedom monstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal so perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Alright, so we're getting our first combat over here. So we'll have one ability right now to mess around with, as one of them has to kind of charge up. But you do happen to have a dodge, and uh, dodging over here is what it looks like. You can animation cancel the, uh, your attack into dodge, which is quite nice. But it'll be a little bit basic until we get another character to mess around with. So we have the ability to charge up some attacks, and uh, it'll kind of affect it differently. So we have this button over here. Basically, These are the animal powers you got throw from up the in a tornado. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? So I swim across. What I do want to go ahead and check out, since I'm playing this with controller right now, is, um, yeah, go with controls. It wants us to go ahead and check that out anyways. Uh, but um, I wonder if you can turn off vibration, as that's something I personally don't like to have in my game. Uh, this is, it doesn't seem like it's there. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be in the, it'll be under other. No. Okay, that's fine. But uh, as you progress, you want to pick up these little like items, as you'll use that to craft. 
Uh, you can craft buffs, you can craft heals. Combat will get so much better once we get multiple characters to play with, as you can rotate in between them to kind of combo. And you'll see that the ground's on fire now, but later we can um, freeze things, we can shock things, and it's it's a really cool system. If you've played Spellbreak, it's it kind of reminds me of that, like comboing, when you're able to like uh, combine them. Oh, but I want to still guys uh, do this to go ahead and go to artifacts and then equip. So. These are items that you'll acquire, you can just level up the character. You can see what we're getting. Extra stats over here. But artifacts are basically your equips in this game. I keep on hitting A, and the reason why is I'm just so used to like A being... Um, it, it wants you to hit B to like enter the menu. But uh, we'll go ahead and equip the artifact over here. So that'll be our first uh, little item that we'll get. And there are set items, so meaning if you get multiple pieces of them, you'll get some type of extra bonus. to the dragon. Yeah, Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful, Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Alright. And we're upgrading our adventure ring. Go ahead and skip out. Well, actually, I'm just going to keep these nicely grouped up. So as we'll build up, we'll be able to use our button that hits Y. It's kind of like a little meter that builds up. It's weird, like I can't change the camera angle sometimes, which I don't think I had that issue when I was playing on uh, PlayStation. But maybe it's trying to target this thing, I don't know. There we go. But the game definitely feels like it was um, designed to be a single player game if people wanted to play it like that. But maybe hey, later in the dungeons, right you'll have to party up. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Emergency food. Hey, that's even worse than 
be the mascot. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? At the ready. Okay, so now we can swap to uh, Amber over here. But in terms of the difference on... travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? Uh, between separated from her the console and PC really, version, really long I journey. think the PC version is a lot more smooth. Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing? <sighs> uh, told you, Edwin. Right, Heck, get it! Now, there are puzzles that we'll, uh, like, have access to in the game. And headshots do matter. It depends on the uh, enemy type that you're actually fighting. But this is this character's ability. We have a little, like, uh, thing that we can summon. <laughs> These monsters have been getting too close to the city. It's just kind of a little distraction. My task this time is to clear out their camp. But yeah, we'll also show off the microtransactions in the game as well. As, uh, you know, that's pretty important, you know. But... Uh, since characters are locked behind it, I would say that I would prefer if the game mostly had things like um, like cosmetics as uh, things to purchase. Not not a fan of like locking characters behind not only a paywall, but it's more so that it's an RNG paywall, which is, which is what I don't like. But they do give you a bunch of currency in the very beginning. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. All right. I'm going to open up the chest. So in terms of the items uh, in this game, uh, there are going to be some overlapping like uh. types of equipment that certain uh, heroes can use. Just have to basically walk over here. I'm not actually sure what the, oh, oh, there's a teleport waypoint over here. So go ahead and uh, I guess unlock it uh, as it'll be basically fast travel. Oh, another important thing that you guys might be wondering. We just happen to be passing by. Is um. What are you cooking? I'm go ahead and just grab. It. I'm a survivalist. Oh. So you can we can cook if we want to. I'm guessing this is a cooking mechanic. But anyways, oh, going back to what I was uh, talking about, uh, in the game, the teleporting does not cost anything. I know in some games, the t teleporting costs so much, at least in the very beginning. I, I don't know, may maybe unless there's certain waypoints that will cost later in the game, you can freely just teleport, which is awesome. But yeah, you can uh, swap uh, in between characters quite fast. Uh, and that's one feature that I really like with this game, especially when once you get um, more characters to swap in between. Remember, there's four characters. You have all these abilities, and the game just feels really good. It's not like super, super heavy on animation canceling like Devil May Cry, but being able to swap in between them is really awesome. And now we'll be unlocking uh, the, the glider. But yeah, the game looks really nice, and I'd say... If you are interested in playing this game single player, it, it seems like the story is interesting enough, at least for the, for the first few hours that I did play. Um, 
on the uh, console version. Let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently, but everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. But in terms of the differences, at least uh, I can mention from console. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Honestly, it feels pretty Except much the same. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. But I do like how we can just like scale the walls over here. Oh, here we go. It's gonna show us the quest menus over here. And then we can navigate over here. So we'll see exactly where to go. Bet you can't keep up with me! But I like how you can just scale the walls in this game. If you do run out of stamina like that though, you will just fall down. So if something's too high, you can't just climb straight up. Let our stamina recharge a little bit. And we'll just climb it. But you can also jump while you're uh, climbing the wall and make it go a little faster. It does use more stamina, but it's faster anyways. So, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. <sighs> Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. Right. So yeah, you you can actually do a animation for like a downward like smash if uh, you do run out, and I believe you won't take fall damage if you do that because you do happen to have like you see that like stamina bar it will go out eventually. <laughs> The sky. But uh, this boss fight over here, I don't know if you want to call it a boss fight or, or what, huh? but... Um, How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. Who, who said that? There's no dodge, unfortunately. I feel like this is kind of a, a weak first, like... Uh, moment in this game to be critical on it, but I still really do like this game. It's just that the, the first engagement over here 
I wish there was at least a dodge, some type of interaction. Maybe an, an alternate fire. <laughs> Not too engaging of a, a fight. But yeah, we'll also show off uh, some of the other characters as they do let you have like um, kind of a little room where you can try out some of the other characters in the game before you hope and RNG and get them. Uh, are you hurt? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally or a new storm? Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Ah, uh, how about a traditional Mondstadt delicacy? Sticky honey roast? Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Our dressing room, collect unique wind gliders. We can alter our outfit over here. But, it's um, just gonna show us the different gliders that we have. Oh, okay, so I did actually unlock this one. Like I said, I did play it on uh, console. So official release reward. Okay. I guess this is what we got for now. So I'm wondering if you can connect your accounts, uh, but... Well, actually, you know what? We can go ahead and uh, mess with that. Right now. So if we go to artifacts, we'll go ahead and uh, equip. New item. So you'll see that over on the right side it says Hydro Damage 3% bonus. And then, then there's a set. So when we have a two-piece set, we're going to get 1,000 extra HP. And then with a four-piece bonus, we get whatever the heck that says. So I, I do like that system. I'll go ahead and just equip everything we have in the very beginning. But yeah, there are times where the characters' mouths won't match up perfectly, but... Since we're, I guess, doing like the impressions of it, I, I, it doesn't bother me really that much. Headquarters. Let's head in. Um, as the game does have support for more languages, it probably won't ever match up perfectly with all of them, which is totally fine. But yeah, once once we get the uh, other heroes, we'll be able to um, show you the interactions in between, like what the hero's ability brings to the table when you're doing some of these uh, missions and dungeons and stuff. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. 
My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Havonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. Paimon will help too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. <laughs> All right. A wish feature has been unlocked. Wish upon the sky. Basically, that's uh, how you RNG heroes. And the shop is now unlocked. They actually wait for the shop to be uh, unlocked over here. So now we have obviously the two characters, but we can RNG maybe get more. Um, it's kind of random, but uh, I will show you guys that mechanic and I'll show you more importantly what this game has to offer as I think this game is really good so far at least uh, from what I've played. Actually, what are we oh, we gotta go with up here. Uh, but I wish this game didn't have a, a stamina system, uh, especially when you're out of combat, but you can pick up these other things for some knowledge over here. We'll go ahead and make our way over here. But in terms of the game being pay to win, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I mean, getting some heroes, there are like five star heroes, and I'm assuming from that those ones are on, better, but I, I honestly couldn't tell you. More and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Go ahead and go to the uh, and the temple over here. Go ahead and just talk There's to the blacksmith. <sighs> what? Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. No, 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 but he okay. seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? So I'll show you guys like the mining mechanic in the game. But yeah, we will have fast travel so we can like warp it uh, to other locations. This one's so close. No real need over here. But you see over in the top left our uh, mini map, and it'll tell us exactly uh, where to go for the ore. Actually, if we go to the uh, quest over here. Uh, oh, should we should show off the, the wish uh, thing too, but I know where the ore is. But you can mark exactly what you need. Whatever one you want to mark, you can go ahead and mark. I already know where the... Uh, the ore is just literally Get in front ready of us. For the gliding champion of now it's much easier to use this character, which is the one that's, I guess, us. You can use abilities on it too. So there we go. We completed that quest, but I just want to show off the mechanic. I want to actually go to the temple because that's where the better content would technically be to show off if we're doing like a, a first little impressions of the game. So um, first off, I'll show you the wish uh, mechanic. So they do actually let you test out the character uh, as well. I'm actually gonna see if uh, we have our like in the mailbox system in this game. So first off, uh, I will show you this. So if you go ahead and 
open up this, which is like the little compass looking thing. You can try out the uh, other heroes in the game, which is awesome. And they do give you rewards for trying out the uh, other heroes. Uh, I'll show you uh, one of my favorite over here, which is the Windborn Bard. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit try. And if you do complete the little task, it's basically just kill them. It's um, uh, an easy system. Well, I'll show off two of the other characters. So this is Venti and uh, Zhongling over here that we'll have access to. So I think Venti is really, really powerful. I'd, I'd probably say top tier in the game. So here's the new set. So we got, we got Arrow. We have this ability that can basically knock him up. Come on, let's go ahead and swap the other character. This one has a little summon that they can uh, throw out. And then in addition to the summon, it uh, throws out fire and it leaves behind a little like chili pepper that we can get. But this is the ability that's so good. It sucks them all up. And we'll swap to uh, Jungling over here. And we'll show off her ability. It throws a spinning spear. Or like a fire ring. But yeah, there's other characters. Um, I won't dip into playing all of them. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this. But you can play uh, a bunch of these different ones. And you'll get some rewards for at least trying out the heroes. Which is a great thing. As some games, you don't know how good that character is. So you just kind of have to purchase it to try it out in like a MOBA game or something like that. Um, but I like that you're able to do this in this game. I'm not sure. Um, let's see if we happen to have like a... Let's go to inventory. See if we have like something in the mail. As... Let's see if we get like some rewards over here. Okay, so we, we actually did not pre-reg for the game. But I would say if you can... The game is supposed to technically launch tomorrow, but I guess it opened up early. But uh, you get a bunch of rewards, so let's see if we can go ahead and uh, get some stuff over here. I'll see if we can get any of the characters uh, via the... There's also the notices over here. Oh, okay, server's online, okay. But I want to see if we can uh, go for the wishes. See if we get. Uh, okay, we do happen to have some wishes. So if you want to get Noelle, she's a little bit slow. Uh, I actually would probably recommend at least with this. It says um, the first ten set will receive Noelle, which uh, is another character that you can get. I actually really want the the Bard. <laughs> uh, I think Venti is really good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, you know what? They only let you use this one on this one. All right, let's see what we can get um, with this. We have twenty out of twenty chances, uh, but you'll see. The other ones will cost different types of currency. I was going to actually uh, open up those ones, but we'll have to do that later as we'll need to progress in the game. So that is like the microtransactions in the game. Let's go ahead and just purchase this and we'll get another character guaranteed over here. Ooh, how exciting! <clears throat> right. So we're getting at some items here. And so certain characters will have overlapping items. So like, um, there's multiple characters that will use a bow, or there's multiple characters that will use, um, let's say like a, a sword. And then you're guaranteed this character anyway, so it's a four star character. Although I'm not sure what that really means in terms of the star character. If, I'm guessing it means it's more rare, but in terms of it actually being better, couldn't tell you. Um, so anyways, that's what we got. And we get some stardust over here. But I, I really want to go ahead and open that. If I could open, oops, these ones over here. But uh, I'm not sure if we uh, were granted any currency. Um, it'll say we don't have this. If we if we don't have it, we'll have to go top up. So in terms of the, the pricing, if you want to see what it uh, kind of is. Oh, it's going to open up the, it'll open up the shop. So you can see that there are three different types of currencies in the game. You can get the one that's on the far right. I'll call that one the cross for like reference over here. Um, you can see that you can purchase it. With, they're called Primo Gems over here. And there's also different things that you can acquire um, using different types of currency over here. So you can purchase, and I guess some of them are like limited time or like you can only purchase so many. So there is uh, things that you can purchase. You can see exactly what the heck it does. I think if you hold, select it. Oh. Oh, that's right. It's it's backwards on here. So A is cancel and, and B is purchase. Usually it's the other way around. But um, anyways, we won't spend too much time in the shop. So again, I, I couldn't tell you if the game is uh, pay to win, but I could say, well, if you want to get some of the characters, that's just how it is. 
But we'll go ahead and go in and we'll show you uh, Noel. So you can see you can do a down smash. I want to show off at least the first temple as um, it's really cool. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Oh, is this the one where I can pass later? Oh, okay. So we can't, we can't, I guess we can't go to this one right now. But uh, we'll have to talk to Amber. And then we'll go in anyways. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes, I also find it hard to accept, but... Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Okay, so now we can go in. There we go. So you can see that there is a different uh, version of it, but we're gonna go ahead and start this one. And you'll actually go in with your party. Um, and we'll actually, as we progress in the game, you will get more characters. So don't worry about like having to purchase things immediately uh, in the game as you'll be able to build your roster up. And technically you will be able to get the in-game currency uh, and then uh, hopefully get RNG your chance to heroes. Um, at the moment, I don't know if there's a way to guarantee certain heroes. You can use that console to open the door. But via the official website, it did have some info on the characters, and some of them were only attainable, wow, at least so by their description, the by the RNG. So, this character over here, I'll, they'll explain, I'll actually explain it much faster. So, different skills in this game uh, will let you progress through the areas in different ways. So, um, if there's branches, you can set them on fire. And that is done with Amber. Although some other, there's probably more characters that will be uh, able to do that, as there's different characters that are attuned to different things. But I'll explain this whole mechanic as well. Uh, so you can set their shields on fire, uh, which is really cool. So you can set wood things on fire. This thing is a little checkpoint. Now how this works, actually, you should, you should go over this. So if we use the elemental site, you can see what is marked. So you can see what we can get rid of. So this shield over here, we can hit that. We can hit these over here. It's just a really cool mechanic in the game. And I think that this is what separates it from just like another generic uh, MMO open world action RPG game. So I do like Get that. Ready for the gliding champion but we also have um, Noelle over here. You can see there are glider like attacks from the oh, glider. No. Which is pretty cool. The fighting must have gotten riled up. This character yeah. will have a shield. Good thing I've prepared my secret weapon. Explosive puppet fairy bunny. So we can throw this over here. So you can see like how complex this game can get as uh, you can swap between all these different characters, which I absolutely love. So, uh, it's, you can say, Are those explosive barrels. barrels over there? So we can swap. Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. And if you swap characters, you'll maintain that barrier, which is really awesome. But yeah, that's why I love this game so much. Like, even though it just came out, like, I feel like the game's pretty fun. Uh, and, and if you're on the fence about, like, at least trying it out for free, I think I can highly recommend this game to most people. This will throw down the, uh, the wind, and then we can use that gust to win and fly up. And there are like uh, little Dragon's puzzles, different breath. paths Is to that certain where things. The I'm not sure from? if there's a maybe secret Great. over Let's here. Smash it. Actually, can... Oh, no, you can't climb up this. But there are secrets in uh, some of the levels, and even in the open world, there's uh, secrets. What if you shoot this if it does anything? Just looking around before we go ahead and finish it off. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. 
It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier, if you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? All right, and then we get a chest at the end. Let's see if we get anything cool. Some ore, and then you do get that currency. That's more like it. Primo drama. Again, I don't know if they're gonna like start throttling the amount that you gain as you progress in the game, but it's it, it's a decent amount. It's uh, 160 to open up an RNG pack of getting a character. So now that we've completed that quest, you see that the marker's over there. Um, so what we can do over here is we can go ahead and open up the map. And we can see if we happen to have waypoint. We don't in this case. I mean, we can teleport over here. But we're just going to go ahead and progress and go over there. There is a little bit of dry moments sometimes when you're walking from point A to point B. Uh, if you don't look at uh, the map. Uh, but if you do look at the map, sometimes you'll notice that there are like things that you can do. Knock him right out. Go and move on down. Pick up that. But yeah, you'll meet people that you'll see as you just kind of progress, and then they're basically like walking vendors. Um, although there's also like the blacksmith that technically is in town, which is static. But I think it's a good idea to open up your map just to see if there's any other things that you can do while you're <coughs> progressing from point A to point B as there are puzzles in the world where you have to like swap to let's say amber which is the, the archer and you'll have to light these little pillars on fire and then a chest will come out so there are like kind of secrets if you want to call them that and i think this game is really cool like it almost feels like this game was designed uh as a single player game and then they you know added multiplayer like it, it's good enough to hold on its own at least um from what i've played so far in my first impressions But yeah, we won't go ahead and eliminate every single enemy. I just want to show you off another character as you'll get a lot of characters in the very beginning. And like there's like water and you can freeze it and then you can walk over it. Like the, the, the gameplay mechanics are definitely what I would consider new and uh, different. So we'll go ahead and just uh, go over here. Okay, we'll talk to uh, You've arrived. Kaya over here. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh yes, it is going to be lively in there indeed. As bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore, yet the Old Winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. All right. Come on. All right, so we'll go ahead. So A and B are swapped in this game. That's something I'll have to get used to. Uh, but uh, anyways, we can, if we want to drop a character, we can also drop a character, and then we can uh, add another character. Oh, A and B. But uh, at the moment, we only have four, so that's what's going to be available. So we'll go ahead and hit start. But as you'll get more characters in the game, you can only select four of them. Um, and I'm wondering if uh, some of the areas you won't be able to progress without like a very specific character, as you'll need them to access Let me show you how the Knights the of Favonius conquer our adversaries. So we get to play as this guy now. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple... So if there's water around, opponents may become wet. Cryo skills can freeze the water. Hydro opponents or uh, opponents that are wet utilize this elemental reaction to gain an advantage over your opponents. Should be up there. So we can freeze. How do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Traveler. Yeah, I like being able to swap in between. You yeah, you can walk on the highest vision, which is 
really cool. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? So he can freeze the uh, flamethrowers over here. It was a very strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. Uh, something strange happened. <laughs> you can't say phenomenon. But yeah, I think this game, it, it's got like good voice acting. It's got pretty decent combat. It's not super animation cancel heavy, which I wish it was, to be honest. But like, there's enough fun for me to enjoy this game. At least right now. Uh, but I'm hoping to get some extra characters that are a little bit faster. Uh, Noelle is very slow, so I, I, like for me, I, I would just drop her in my roster. Finally, we're here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. But I like how these different characters uh, will let you basically progress in different ways. So also the blue stone in the center is a hydro uh, amber. You'll break it and it'll make everything in its range wet. So if I swap to, let's say, like uh, amber over here. See it'll make Water. the light. We no. can use this to put out fire. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. So we'll go ahead and build up this guy's uh, power. As uh, gotta build up these characters' abilities. We'll open up our chest, see what we get. Oh, that's. Basically, actually, can we do this? In, I'm not actually unsure if you can do it in mid game. Okay, like in the in the middle of like a. Can we equip weapons actually during this? As he's a he's considered right now as a trial character. Okay, so maybe not him right now at this moment. Go ahead and go to her. Go to weapons, and you'll see that uh, you can get weapons that have more attack. You can see it go from uh, 23 to 33, and some of them will have more modifiers. Like they'll actually do things. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this character. So we have a lot of different bows over here. So currently the one she has equipped is 23 and then we can go to 39. And like, there's probably, a, like this one gives you more HP, but I'm just gonna prefer the one that has more flat damage for now. And so like I mentioned, some characters will have overlapping weapons. So like this one over here, well, um, I think this one, this, is a, this one's a Claymore sword, so I think this one's different. But there are characters that uh, do use the same, like, uh, let's see. I'll equip that 39. Just more numbers. But they're not always as simple as that. Now this is really cool. This is where I was like, oh, this is a cool mechanic over here. So there's dangerous spikes. You can go ahead and freeze the ground. So um, Dodge this. you can walk over it. And then this one over here is going to be moving. Speaking of, did you know? There's a chest over here. was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the okay. exact details. Pass by. If you're interested, you can ask the freeze. acting grandmaster about it. Yeah, I just thought that was so cool in like a open world MMO to have these like elements. And the scale of the areas looks really good. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> now worth complimenting. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. So I'm actually wondering, I actually don't know, can you like romance the characters in this game? That would be really awesome. Quite rewarding. No? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way hilly churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Avonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but 
Your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. So there's different like uh, characters in there are tuned. I'm guessing that one's fire, uh, and then like obviously the guy, other guy's ice. This will be interesting. So um, we've also obtained that guy that we just had. So now we have a full party over here. And uh, like I said, I haven't. Um, they gave us free free uh, currency to open up, but I don't know if you can RNG and get other heroes off of it. But um, anyways, yeah, um, there's a lot more to do in this game. Obviously, we just basically started. But in terms of my first impressions, this game as well kind of just start the walking hurry? to the next area. I do like this game. I think that there are really cool ideas in here. Um, there's a little bit, again, of moments where you're just walking from point A to point B, but there is things to do uh, while you're doing it. But, it just made him. but uh, I do like this game a lot. And, I, and this is, again, not, not a sponsored video at all. I genuinely think this game is really fun to play. Uh, but I really hope that there's some more consistent way to unlock a hero. Um, as there are some heroes I, I do really want to try out. I don't know if from the trial if you can try out all of them. Because on the website there's a lot more uh, characters. Okay, I'll try to show off this guy's ability as well. I like how he can teleport. It's really awesome. Cool it. Alright, go ahead and grab the flower. But uh, this is one of these puzzles over here that will show off where, like, there's just a chest over here. And we're, again, walking from point A to point B, so there's something to do here. So we'll go ahead and swap to Amber. You'll see that there are... Oh, there's a chest right here. We'll go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and get the chest. But there's a chest in the middle that we'll have to unlock by lighting these pillars. And let's see if we can hit this bird as we can convert it into uh, some nice chicken. <laughs> yeah, we got it. But go ahead and light these. So this is like kind of like a simple puzzle, and I'm sure it'll get more complex. Oh gosh, I didn't see that. Go, go. I must leave no stone unturned. So let's go and get the chicken. On oh, these, if you follow them, they'll they'll show you to something. Uh, it reminds me of if we played uh, that game recently, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. So you can see we we get some drumsticks after killing the the this. The, oh, I think it was a uh, some pelican. Was it a crane? Anyways, we'll go back to Amber like this, and then I think there's one here. There's also a chest up there, so we can go ahead and just walk over to that one. Yeah, I would say this is definitely more of like a single player element that they kind of added in here, but I like it. It's, it definitely feels like refreshing. Actually, hold on. I think we'll run out of energy here. I have to reset, let her rebuild this town. I just feel like in terms of like what it could be critical on the game, things that I feel like it could improve upon, definitely no stamina system if you're not in combat. Um, or if you're not scaling, like just running from point A to point B, I think it'd be nicer, but you can increase the stamina. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this as uh, another point. Uh, there's one right here. This is this last one? One, two. I won't let you down. Okay, it's right there. Up here. There should be one more. Let this one in. Was the last one. Oh, it's right here. I found it. <laughs> the controller just can't be super accurate. And, and I need that aim assist. Alright, so we can go ahead and open up the chest now. And then we can go ahead and uh, obtain our loot and equip, get some more damage, and uh, go to the next temple over here, which you guys can go ahead and see that we've got another quest to uh, meet Lisa at the temple, which is another character that we'll be unlocking. But anyways, to keep it short for the like first hours and impressions and gameplay over here, that's where we're going to go ahead and end it off. I will be making up a, uh, a follow-up video to uh, this game as I kind of want to progress in the game and give you guys some more info on it as it's a game I genuinely enjoy. But anyways, that's the first hour and my impressions of the game. So overall, to kind of wrap things up, I think visually the game is great. I like that there's voice acting. I wish sometimes instead of the voice acting uh, being like where it's uh, like... 
them just simply talking. I think it'd be good for them to allow it to make it so you can basically mm. progress. And while you're walking, they'll kind of tell, talk to you. Uh, so the game kind of feels more alive versus the characters just kind of being like swapped to the character. And I think it'd be cool to have them all like uh, maybe in the back, maybe the AI would fight for you and then you'd swap to him to use them. I think that could be an, also another cool suggestion, but obviously that's not going <laughs> to uh, probably happen. It might just be due to limitations as this game is also available on mobile, which I have yet to play this game on mobile, but uh, it does also support crossplay. There's an option to make it so, I know at least on the console version you can make it so you only play with people on PlayStation. Uh, but Overall, I like the game. I don't really have too many things to criticize it. It is a free-to-play game, so they have to make money some way, and I just wish the microtransactions were not. Some characters you can only get via buying them, and they're randomly. That's that's the problem that I have. It was like, okay, you buy a character for 10 bucks or whatever the case may be, um, and they have really cool skins that are RNG-based. That's cool, but when you lock the character behind RNG and some of these drop rates, um, I don't know if they show it actually in here because the drop rates are so incredibly low. At least, whoops. Um, let's go ahead and go back. Can I like click out of this? Uh, but if you look at the, oh gosh, like I said, A and B are, are swapped over here. Um, but when you make some of the characters drop rates, I don't know if it'll, if we go into the uh, wish shop over here. Um, oh wait, there's the map. If we go to the wish shop, you'll see, does it have the, is it details? I think is where it'll open up the, okay. So, oh wait, hold on. This is like the, the other, can I have to scroll down? Okay, here we go. When you see the drop rate uh, of some of these things, <laughs> um, 0. Uh, 0.6, <laughs> and we also have probably four like that. And there's also like kind of like this way where it accumulates and they kind of explain it. It's a long read, I feel like. <laughs> just, just tell me the drop rate chance, but they give you like a, a grace if you keep on getting them. But you can see that the chances of getting like a three-star item is 85% when you're opening them, which, yeah, your odds are pretty, uh, you know, not in your favor, but that's the way it works, right? But uh, anyways, um, that's going to be uh, it for like kind of just wrapping things up for this game. But again, it's a free-to-play game. It looks good. It sounds good. The story is interesting enough for me to go ahead and continue, and the combat's great. Really, it's just the microtransaction. I, I wish that you could buy what you wanted. But anyways, that's my thoughts and my first hour impressions. You guys can let me know your thoughts on it down below. And if you guys want to know anything more about the game, they're like, you know, what what does you know, this do? Just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer it, and uh, I'll update you guys in the future with another video. So if you are new here, and you do want to be uh, up to date with Genshin Impact, as I really enjoy this game, and I want to see more content, and I want to see what else this game has to offer, subscribe and turn on that bell, and you'll definitely see more, as I will be creating content around this game as it just recently came out. But take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. And I'm out. Peace.